morning, Abby. It's Tuesday, and you've been having some technical difficulties, which is why you haven't been uploading recently. Now, I tried going into YouTube myself and looking at the videos, and it's like, it is uploaded, but it hasn't processed. But I didn't see, like, a magic button to make it process, so I don't know what to tell ya. But long story short, we may not be seeing some videos from Abby for a while if she can't figure this out, so... Yeah, fair warning that that might be happening now. So, like, I decided to watch one episode, one episode of Miraculous Ladybug Season 2, and, like, I'm shook. I'm not going to release any details, because, like, I don't know if Kephart wants spoilers or not. So, until Kephart says I can, I am not going to be telling any spoilers, but, like, legit, I'm not looking at the universe the same way after that episode. Like, just... Like, that episode was seriously some of the most intense stuff I've ever witnessed. Hey, you know what else is intense? My love for Super Mario Odyssey. For those who don't know, Super Mario Odyssey is a game that is coming out on the Nintendo Switch, like, literally three days from now. And it looks fan-freaking-tastic. Not to mention the fact that the song Nintendo keeps playing in all of their advertisements is literally catchier than the bubonic plague. The thing is, of course, to play the game, I would need a Nintendo Switch, as I stated earlier, but the thing is, I feel like if I got a Nintendo Switch, I would, like, just play Super Mario Odyssey and, like, never play another game on it, which would just, like, be a complete waste, but I honestly feel like that's what would happen. Not to mention the fact that right now a Nintendo Switch costs about $300, whereas Super Mario Odyssey can be pre-ordered for $55. But if you're the type of person who doesn't like buying two separate purchases for whatever reason and just wants to buy everything all in one, guess what? You can get a bundle of Super Mario Odyssey and the Nintendo Switch, plus the Nintendo Switch has special red Joy-Con controllers because Mario! Oh, and who doesn't love Mario? And guess what? You could get it for the low price of $380. Why? Nintendo, please. The song says that I can, like, jump up and, like, grab coins with Pauline. I just want to grab coins with Pauline. Is that a sin? This song is a lie, guys. And yet, I can't stop listening to it. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I love this song, but I also hate this song. If I don't get to live it, someone please send help. Okay, so, like, I'm beginning to notice a pattern in the universe. It will, like, give me a thing, and it's like, you should want this thing. It's very good. And then I'm like, yes, yes, I do want that thing. Give me that thing right now. And then the universe is like, no, no, you don't get this thing, because screw you. I want to watch Winx Club, but I don't have stupid kids click, because Sinclair Broadcasting is stupid. I want to watch Miraculous Ladybug. But it's not coming out until December, anyway, and when it does, it will be on Netflix, which I don't have, so I'm gonna have to watch crappy pirated versions that are on YouTube with, like, ridiculously chipmunked voices, and it's gonna suck. I want to read Turtles All the Way Down, but instead, I don't get Turtles All the Way Down. I get no turtles all the way up. Oh my god, my hair is insane. But the thing is, even though I don't have those things that, like, I want, I have things that, like, I actually need, like clean water, and food, and heat, and shelter, and people who actually like me. And there are people who don't have those things, and life sucks for them, so maybe for them I should just kind of shut up right now. In fact, I think I need to go full Dobby the House Elf and punish myself. Bad Dobby! Bad Dobby! Bad Dobby! Abby, I don't know what to say in the middle part of my outro right now, and I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, if your technology could stop being a piece of crap. Like, gosh dang, Abby's technology, what is your problem?